hey welcome back thank you for taking time out to watch another video what i'm going to show you today is how can you use some tools available from microsoft and community on to measure the latency between the azure data center and your local environment so please make sure to sign into a guide to cloud.com i have written an article explaining about which of the tools you can use to measure the latency the first one is the tool from microsoft so as soon as you launch the tool it will tell you from your local location and which one is your closest azure region where you can host windows virtual desktop and it tells you the round trip millisecond as well so you you are guaranteed enough to identify that okay how much is going to be the round trip if i host a session desktop on that particular region and the second tool is i'm going to show you by launching the session desktop so i have set up a windows virtual desktop environment you guys can go and check out the rest of the videos which is there on the playlist it explain you how to set up a windows virtual desktop from scratch helps you understand how to create a session host remote app etc once you host the session host then you sign in with this remote desktop app make sure everything is proper you can right click on top of the bar and you can click on the experience simulator so it give, gives you the information about where is it been hosted what's the round trip millisecond is the connection good or not so all of this information can be found right on top of the session desktop itself which is super cool and the third option is a community tool so it is developed by a community contributor so i have put down the link which takes you directly to the page where you can see that authors description and the details about and this is where you can download the latest content so i have not put the link to the download path so make sure you always go to this particular blog and download the latest community path so i'm going to use this blog um, and the download link i'm going to sign in to my session host not on the session desktop i'll write on my session host i'm going to launch the browser Oh yeah, every time when I launch the Edge or the new Chromium browser on the session host, I have to go through the first initial setup all the time. I think that's because it is a session host and I don't want to log in with a particular user. So now I'm inside Bram Wolf's block and uh, when you scroll down, you would be able to find the download link there. So click on that and download the installer. Cool thing about this installer is you don't have to install. That's super cool. So even though it's an exe, you can basically run. And uh, as soon as you launch it, it just pop. It just create a pop up right on your taskbar. So I just installed or I, I just launched it for the first time. It showed me the pop-up as you can see that my connection is detected and the connection is good of course the connection is good because this is hosted in azure and it is running in azure so what i want to verify is how is the connection from my local pc so now i'm in my local session host so i use the remote app client to launch the session desktop now I'm going to rinse and repeat the same thing what I have done on the session host on the session desktop as well. So I logged into that article. I'm going to download the same installer because you don't have to install it. Just need to launch it to use it. So I just downloaded that file. I'm going to extract it and just double tap. You don't need any admin rights. So as soon as you double tap up the icon, it's going to give you the pop-up saying that how is the connection so make sure to check this tool out this tool have various functionality i hope the information provided is useful i will see you on the next video
Till then, stay safe.